What is up? What is up, everybody? This is Dan Seems the Kid with episode two of Fucking Talk. Uh, this week has been going by. This week for me has been off and on ever since my mom passed away. For those who have, may not know or did know, uh, my mom, Shauna DeFazio, has passed away back on September the 18th. Um, as you probably remember, my mom was. My mom's infection on both legs was giving up, and it became worse. Um, she was in a hospital for about a week, not even a week, and she passed away. And it was, it took a lot out of me, personally, and a lot of shit that was happening. And like, you know what, it's taking, a, I like, I'll have my good days and bad days, but, you know, mom's watching from above, she's not suffering anymore. So I appreciate you all. If I have not say thank you to all of you, thank you all once again for sending your love and prayers to my family. I appreciate that. And like a lot of adventures are happening. So like, I appreciate you all. It's cold out here today, man. I think we're supposed to get like free. I think it's, we were supposed to get like freezing rain. And like, I think like further north of the city had got freezing rain. So I'm just like, wow, it's like windy out here. It's all lightning. Yeah, so last Sunday's, so last weekend, um, on Sunday, I was with the Ageless. Yes, I was with the Ageless at the studio on Sunday for, for I think they were practicing for the performance. And also, um, was there for Zumba class. Yes, yes, so I've been with the Ageless now for almost a month. So it's been, it's been fun for me. And everything else, and, and uh, I like to thank, thank you to my, who I'm gonna call now my mom, Ems, for taking me under her wing. You know, and it, feel, it feels like my mom's telling you something like, "Please take care of my son. He's yours now. I'll watch her from above." So like, I feel very, very happy, despite everything that's going on. I'm blessed. Everything's all a blessing in disguise. And like we're gonna be busy like half of November and December. We got like social events coming up, performances coming up. So this Sunday will be like the last uh, Zumba class until January, until like after the Christmas holidays. Yeah, because like what's gonna well, like what's gonna happen, right? You know, like because like one show, one event, and then Zumba the next day. And like, nah, man, we got we need to have that break. <laughs> Oh goodness! So yeah, I miss out going outside for to grab a coffee. Um, I'm renovating my apartment. Yeah, we've been at it for the past week because I had to do the walls and everything else, and, and it's taking a lot out of me because you know that you know ever since mom died, you know we had to like renovate the apartment. This this is like her wish, so like we're I'm, we're granting that wish for her. Now it's raining again. <laughs> I think it's like it's raining like the whole, like it's been like off and on with the rain and everything else. I think we're supposed to get like freezing, as I said, supposed to get like freezing rain and stuff like that. I just saw lightning once again. <laughs> I think like further north got freezing rain. Three minutes into the broadcast, yeah. Nice to be back doing my series once again. Oh my gosh, as I was saying in the first episode, I was thinking about like, because everything that was happening so quickly. So like, yeah. So like, I thought like, you know, red things that just happening in the past like year and a half and everything. I thought like, I, w I did want to close the production forever, but due to the fact like, you know what? I was thinking and not thinking, but it's like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's bring it back. And with season two. <laughs> yeah, because everything was going on, everything like everything that was happening and everything. So, you know, I love what I love doing. <laughs> it's like raining out here. I'm like, shit. <laughs> As you may know, and also too, um, I'm going to say this here. I'm gonna say in a positive manner, I'm no longer with Euro Nation anymore. Unfortunately, uh, the MC, whoever the he is, 
he decided to take our friendship and shove it down the drain. And you know what? I could care less about him now. I could care less about Euro Nation. I could care less because without me and the Euro Dance guy, you're nothing but garbage. You can slander me all you want. You could, you know what? Because I don't care because you're nothing but a coward. I have moved on from Euro Nation since then. Yes, I have. Gain a better community, regain my community, regain my status in the community, regain my spot, and so be it. Because you know what? You don't know not anything about dance music. You pay, you pay people to do your dirty work. You use people for your bidding and everything else. By the grace of God, I hope God strikes, he strikes upon you and everything else. Because you know what? I have my family. I have my community. So all you so, so you guys can vacate because you you're no long you you are no longer welcome in my table anymore. And since then I've been actually been supporting the Chicago scene even better with the with um the party zone on 103.1 Chicago. Give my respects to uh, Jammin' Down JD, who is no longer part of the show, but I give him my love and respect as he did me and, and to the boys up in Chicago. So shout outs to you guys. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your family. You know, I've been getting you guys out every week since the beginning of the year. And let's keep the dance scene, the music scene, alive in Chicago. And Toronto South Bananas. For what you did to me in the Eurodance guy, shame on you guys. I'm in a better place now. I got my, I'm the god, we're like the compadres of the community. You show us respect, we show you respect. You don't show us respect, we're going to do the same thing back to you. And let God handle you. We're supposed to come together as, you know, supposed to come together in the community to love music, whatever, not garbage in politics and slandering people. Where, where do you get that? I'm so happy I moved on because you know what? These people are not real friends. They don't accept you for who you are. They're not real friends. I got my circle. You guys can leave. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I got that, got that out of my chest. Whew. Gotta switch over to the other head now. Oh my goodness. So those of you, yeah, so, so be it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm walking on to McDonald's. Oh my god, my hand's a little cold. So I'm walking on to McDonald's in the rain. It's like off and on rain. Out of his like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the to, to the new adventures with the Ageless. Yeah, I've been I've been part of the Zumba movement for a while now, and like and now I'm back full force with the Filipino community. So shout out to you guys in the GT in the to all the Filipinos in the GTA and all over Canada and all over the world. It's nice to be back with you guys after four years, reconnecting with you guys after four years since it got axed in Mississauga by that wannabe. That, that wannabe George Costanza. <laughs> I heard he's still talking shit. Mentioning Justin Trudeau in your... Uh, at somebody's uh, funeral... At somebody's uh, dad's funeral. How sick can you be? No, seriously. How sick can you be? <laughs> like, seriously. You're gonna, you're gonna do... You, would you like to talk about that at my mom's funeral? I dare you. I'm gonna take that and shove it, shove it when the sun don't shine, son. Talk about Justin Trudeau. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So back to what I was saying about the Filipino community. Uh, yeah, so I've been with them for like nearly 12 years. But I've been growing around them since longer. But now like I'm full force with them. <sighs> oh my goodness. And it's already in the middle of November. We're going to be in the middle of November. Christmas is coming up. And then this weekend's live, and then November the 11th, I'm going to be going to a gala with the, I think the, I think the group from Pagasina, from Pagasina. Um, they're going to be doing like a gala, dinner gala on Saturday with, it's like, like a 25th anniversary dinner gala, and it's, it's all Gatsby. So that'll be the, the next adventure with the Angelus. And then next week will be live, and then tomorrow, and then Friday, I'll be going to live band to see the Light Hall Band. Be my last band before I go on the road on Saturday at Mahali Car. 
Yeah, Mahali car is right up at uh, Westlock, uh, Unit 8, 833, Unit 8, Westlock, right off of Wolfdale. It used to be called El, right, way back in the days, if you live in the Westdale area, Westdale area or Wolfdale, um, it used to be called, it was raised first, then Ellen, and now it's Mahali car. Yes, one of the best Filipino bars in Mississauga, so I recommend everybody to go over there. The best food and the best, and they got, and as all they all got like karaoke night, acoustic night, live band every Friday and Saturday. And the coverage is pretty good because of, hey, you know, now they got the cover charge, now the band's got to make money. So shout out to DJ Jeff, thank you so much for what you've done for the community. You're like the big brother I've always wanted. We got, we, we're in this together, my guy. So that's why you've been seeing all my postings on social media because I'm also getting, they're getting me over. I'm getting, because he, like, there was a lot of, like, mutual friends that used to go to church with me back in the day that knows him, that knows, that knows me, that knows him. So it's, like, mutual, which is good because mad respect. Whew. So that's what's been happening. So on November 11th will be my first outing with the Ageless. So I'm now just going to go to McDonald's. I'll cut it there when I go to McDonald's. And then December 2nd, I'll be going to uh, Jingle Beat. In the mix, Jingle Beat with DJ, um, DJ Itzo, MC Fat P. Yeah, yeah, going to be going there on December 2nd for Jingle Beat. And this will be the last party for me of the year. Those, this will be party number 32. I've been to about 32 dance parties since the beginning of January. 32 dance parties. Now, because this is a free one, because I'm going to be focusing on the Filipino community. The event that's happening, so, yeah. Looking forward to that. It's fucking cold out. <laughs> Just going to McDonald's, grab a coffee and a muffin is, you know, need to relax. Okay, guys. This is uh, Dance Music Kid, Vinny Michael. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please like and subscribe and share my channel. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great evening, everybody. Let's keep it up.